Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So in this channel, we solve a lot of algorithms. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below this video and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and look at today's question. Awesome, so this question asks us to match um, the brackets in a string and make sure that they are properly closed. So properly cl closed brackets means that um, when you have um, a bracket like this that's not properly closed because you can see the open bracket is different from the closed bracket. So one way to approach this problem is to create a mapping of um, all the correct brackets, right? So what I've done here is I've created um, mappings of the opening and closing brackets. So we are able to access this info and just match if the um, order in which the closing bracket shows up is correct or not. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to um, iterate over this string with the bracket. So let's say this is our input, s equals these, and this is a properly formatted string. So what we're going to do is create a for loop here and iterate over the string, and we are going to put each character into a um, list or array. Right, and what we're gonna do is we, let's say we put the first character in here, and then what we need to do is we need to check if this exists in um, our mapping. So the way we know that it's an opening bracket is we're gonna check if it exists in the mapping here, right? So this exists in the map, so we put it in, and then what we do is when we encounter the closing bracket, this is when we access this element here and match this value. So we say, hey, um, at this index, when we find a closing bracket, we need to make sure that that closing bracket is the same as what is in the correct uh, pairing in our pairs map. So that's the basic idea um, behind the solution to this problem. Okay, so if we take a mismatched example like this where the answer should be false, um, what we can expect to see here is that first, at first, this will be inserted in the stack here. And when we go to the second element, which is the mismatched element, um, we know that we will retrieve this, we will pop the last element out of the stack and we will look here, oh, so what is the correct matching for this? And when we see that it's not this value, so we'll grab the correct pairing for this value, this first sign, um, and we will see that, oh, okay, well, this sign is should be what we are expecting here. But instead, we have this in our iteration. So this is not equal to, um, this correct pairing. And that's the case that we are going to return false. Okay, awesome. So with these high level ideas, let's jump into the implementation. Okay, so I'm back in the code and I've just written out the edge cases here. So if we have a string that's less than two characters, we can just return false because that will be invalid parentheses or if it's blank, we can return true. Um, and what I've done here is I've created the pairs that we discussed. So these are the correct pairings that we want to check. And I have initialized the array here called STK. Um, so this is the idea of a stack where we're going to pop out elements from this array. And I have also created um, an array to iterate over the string because we need to go through each item and check if it is a um, um, if it is correctly um, aligned or not in the open and closed forms of the brackets. So we'll say let br equals um, ARI. So the string is filled with brackets, so we just want to check if um, um, those brackets are correctly aligned or not. And what we want to do here, as we discussed, we are going to check if this br exists in the pairs. And if it does, that means it's a opening bracket. And how do we know this? We know this because the pairs are indexed by opening brackets only, right? So this is how we can figure out um, if it is an open bracket or not. So we can say if 
pair brackets at the index of br is present, then what we want to do is push that in um, the array. So we'll say stk.push br. So this is the case here where we just pushed the first item in our list into this array. Okay. Okay, now else, if it is a closing bracket, so if we encounter a closing bracket, so in the next iteration, we're going to encounter this, right? So what we want to do then is we want to uh, check if that closing element is the same as the paired closing element. So to do that, we need to pop the element out of the um, array here. So we will say um, let um, check bracket equals stk dot pop. And once we have popped that, um, we want to check if so currently we have popped this this bracket here, right? So we want to check if that check bracket, so we will get this values, uh, this keys value here. So we will say if pair brackets at the index of the check bracket. Okay, so we just grabbed this value here. And we are going to say if this is equal to the current bracket we're on, right? So if this is equal to the current bracket, um, sorry, if this is not equal to the current bracket, which is the case here, because we, so currently pair brackets at the check brackets is this element, and this is not equal to this bracket, right? So if that is not equal to the bracket, then we will return false. Okay. Um, otherwise, we will return true. And there is one more case here, like if we get a input like this, for example, where it's just two open brackets, um, then we need to take care of that because that will not go into this else. Um, so we want to return false for that case. So at the end, if there is still something in the stack, so for that case, uh, it would just be two of the open brackets in the stack and it has, hasn't been pushed out and matched. So for that case, we want to return false. Otherwise, return true. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, awesome. And I'm going to submit. Yay, accepted.